Hey, uh, come with me while I grab a pizza box. Uh, yeah, this uh, this whole political game. <laughs> that light was already broken. It's broken even more. It seems to keep working. So, um, th yeah, politics. Oh man, especially the the vice presidential. It's all a game of distraction, really. Um, the there are things going on in the world. You know, our our military is certainly currently engaged in certain activities. Hi, Ben. <laughs> um, but yeah. First of all, there's this biggest distraction that is deeply rooted in our culture. And I've been trying to speak towards this for a while, but I'm going to give it another shot and maybe maybe this will be a better way to do it. Um, we're all... Let's start with black. We're all... Hey, there's already a line there. Um, I can use that. Okay. Eh, I don't want to use that. Okay. We're going to start here. Because, um, you know, reference point. You all with me? You all here? Sorry. Um, the left. Okay, so Republican is generally thought of as right. Red, Republican, that all makes sense. And then you got the great, uh, the, um, towards the left. That works pretty well, because you got the big L for left, liberal, I don't know why it's blue. Am I drawing? I can read upside down, so I'm guessing I can write upside down as well. Um, our media, our political system, the, the, the way we've evolved into a two-party, a very defined two-party system, um, and that's occurred because of the media, the influence of first newspapers, then television, and now, you know, certainly Fox is getting involved with online advertising and such. The, the focus is always this one-dimensional analysis of human activity, of, you know, governmental options or whatever, theoretical. We're to believe that this dichotomy will encompass all of our interests, all of our potential interests, all of the diversity, and this left-right thing is a distraction from a whole nother issue, which is easy to graph as up-down. What's going on here? What? A second dimension? That can't exist. Everything is one-dimensional. You would have to be a god to be able to imagine a second dimension. This other dimension is... I don't have great terms for this, but... Up here, it's governmental power dictating to its citizenry. Um, you know, the very top of that would be despotism, monarchy... Um, the opposite direction is towards human rights, uh, respect of the individual. This might be summarized as up is fascism, down is libertarianism. Yeah, and that works fairly well. And for a long time I couldn't understand libertarianism because it seemed to exist both left and right. Like, I was trying to map it. Well, and, it, you know, I asked my parents about this when I was 12 or something. I'm like, because our neighbor was libertarian. And they told me that, and I'm like, oh, what's that? And they're like, oh, it's a third party and stuff. And I'm like, are they are they left of... Uh, you know, are they left of Democrats? Or are they right of Republicans? And they kind of seem to be both, but really it's a different scale. Totally different scale. Um, since Kennedy died, 
we've we've been moving upwards and it's been hidden by these these left and right games that we get to engage ourselves in every four years every two if you care a little bit more locally or more I don't know what's going on locally where you are I'm not even sure what's going on locally where I am <clears throat> rain it's it's all a big distract distraction and right now this whole campaign is filling our news media while our government ramps up for war we currently have the largest number of battle fleets in the Persian Gulf since the first Persian Gulf War in 1991 and it's pretty clear that they're preparing either for military activity, uh, engagement with Iran, or establishment of a blockade to uh, prevent trade from reaching Iran. Um, there's a news account out now that the Dutch pulled some of their uh, operatives. I, I didn't read the whole article, so I apologize that. Look for it. Um, based on their, uh, I don't know, I need to read that, sorry, I just, I'm so excited to make some videos that I started into this without getting all the facts, so let's both go look for the facts afterwards, if we care, you know, if we care to, anyways, pulled an operative because of impending U.S. military action in Iran. It's also come out recently that the uh, there was an account of uh, some Iranians captured on a boat and in the Western media outlets they claimed that this was in Iraqi waters. It has come out now in international sources that that was a lie and in fact our U.S. military captured this boat in Iranian waters, an act of war, you know, against international treaties and some, some such things, and certainly uh, threatening to Iran, which really, okay, anyways, so yeah, blue, red, blue, red, We've had a Bush family member as president or vice president for 20 of the last 28 years. We had a brief breather with the Clinton administration, but of course, he does not exist on the green end of that. I, I throw my pizza box away. Never throw your pizza box away. Uh, Clinton's up this way. Both of the Clintons are up that way. They, there's the the corporations like this because they can they can get stronger influence if the government has stronger influence. And they're they're all buddy buddy and yeah. I'm starting to f sound like a conspiracy nut. But if you look at the international media. The entire world is a conspiracy nut, by your definition. Except for America. And its buddies in violence. Okay, that's probably time. Yeah, that's time. What's next? Who knows? Ha ha ha!